Good morning YouTube and today we have another Explore video for you and this is part two of our former RAF Woodall Spa Explore. Now since my last visit I've discovered more things on maps, seen some photos of some things that I didn't see online. So today me, the wife, a couple of kids, we're going for a lot. So we'll see where we get. And then I'll bring you lot back when I find something interesting, obviously. Uh, I've got my laptop with me and all just in case I run out of um, storage on my phone. So I can download it to my laptop. So I can make sure I don't miss anything. So uh, keep watching, see what we find. Now, this is the first thing that we've come across, which we didn't discover last time. Which in all fairness is just a chunk of concrete. But it goes. All the way around to there, and it carries on round to now what I'm stood on, which is a big embankment. There's an embankment on the other side, you can see the kids playing on, and a big slab of concrete in the middle. Obviously, some sort of building was stood here, and they used the uh, mud embankments and some sort of natural. Blast shielding. Good lad, Lachlan. Well, as I've come down from there and I've mooched around, here's another one. You can clearly see the embankment there to me. And uh, there. And then that. It's a big old slab of concrete where a building once stood. I'm guessing it's going to be like one of them um, Nissan nuts, you know, with the brick ends and the metal over the top on that, hence the embankments to give it some sort of blast protection. In all, there is one, two, three, four of these lined up, as the wife informs me. She's down there, look at the last one. Yeah, so here we have again an embankment, embankment, and a concrete base in the middle. Now, obviously, this isn't very exciting. I'm determined to stay here today as long as it takes until I find what it is that I'm looking for. Now I'm not going to spoil it now for you on the beginning of the video because then you'll just skip ahead and you won't watch the rest and you'll miss all of this history and no facts that I'll give you because I'm oh crap. But there you go. Um, I'm going to get around and see what else we can find and then we'll bring you back. So we'll see you in a minute. We just found this clearing. And it um, appears to be all grass and crap, but that's not. That's actually moss and shit. And there's uh, concrete all under that. But the wife and the kids have discovered some more of these. Calm down, Lockle, I'm filming. Some more of these uh, metal tie-down things. Now, these are different than the ones over the other side. Um, I don't know what these would have been for exactly. But there's one there. One right in front, two in front of that, and then one in front of that. So, um, I don't know what this is. It's not circular like the last one, so I'm not sure if it's a tie down for a plane or what. But it's a definite tie down for something. These was discovered by Lacey May. She's just pointing them out to you. Yeah, so anyway. I'm looking for a building, a building in particular. So I'll get back to you when we find something. Okay, so the next feature we've discovered is partial remnants of a building. Uh, I'm not even sure exactly what it is, but it's part of a big embankment. Should we go around, walk around that way and have a look, see what's there, mate? Come on, let's go wander around. So this is some real-time exploring. You discover what I discover as I discover it. Let's see. That's strange. A square of concrete with a tree. Going out here, some sort of post. Yeah. Someone's put that in. Okay, so that was obviously some sort of mast. Obviously. Mm. It bends, but don't go out. Yeah? Well, good find boy. Anybody knows what that is or was or was for? 
please leave a comment in the comment section. Come on, mate. Let's see what else we can find. Let's see. All right, so here again, we found another another thing, basically the same as the others. Embankment, embankment, concrete slab. So nothing too amazing to see here. If anybody knows what these are or was, I'm assuming they were Nissan huts dotted around the edge. Yeah, let's go explore, see if we can find something a little, a little better. So the wife found one of these a minute ago. See the concrete, so it goes at an angle. But then there's also a wall that comes around here, and this would appear to have been some sort of entrance way. I'm assuming that, that this must have been some sort of bunker. Maybe somebody could let me know. This is what's in the virtual floor. I was gonna say, it does look a lot like the bomb stores that are in uh, Birchwood Woods. Um, if you haven't seen my RAF Scalinthorpe, uh, explore go check it out like and you'll see what we're on about but th yeah these do appear to be like some sort of bomb stores with some sort of sunken entrance so that's pretty cool see what else we can find and there we are at the opposite end of what i believe is bomb stores and it's got a similar Oh, I'm assuming entrance way, just here, that's been backfilled. It's a shame I'd get in trouble if I brought a shovel and dug it up, but honestly, that is what I'd love to do. Well, I filmed a few of these sheds last time, so I'm not going to go through it again. But you can see it there, and all the undergrowth, with the vents all smashed out and that some vandals this side's faring a lot better than the other side i have to say though the other side is pretty fucked and all caved in yeah right now so far i haven't found what i've been looking for now i did think i knew where it was turns out i was wrong but this is going to turn into an even bigger job than i anticipated you can see the damage to the front of that one there Obviously due to some little bastards that think it's funny to destroy shit. They have no respect for other people's shit, history, or their own fucking heritage, anything. Shit cunts. Anyway, let's uh, see if we can find something decent. I mean, if we can find what I'm looking for, it is decent. And I'm determined to stay till I do, so let's see. All that greenery there you can see in front of you. That was where the actual runways stood. Now you can't see them. If you look on an aerial map on Google Maps, you can plainly see them on there, but from here, no joy. But that was the actual flying field. Just there. Here we are, something new. Obviously, not new, but new to me. The wife and kids were just being dicks, so I told them to bugger off. So they all went off with the aunt, thinking they were going to go and sit in the car. Little do they know that I have the keys. So let them be stroppy, because I'm still exploring, and I've got a few acres left to explore. And as you can see, it's quite a big expanse of concrete, this. It does go up like left and right there. It goes up to the right there, which I believe would have took it to the Perry track. I'm assuming this is another one of them. I don't even know what you call them. Somebody tell me what they're called. The round things that they tie planes on. So then they're not right next to each other and they'll get fucked up with one explosion. Yeah, I can't remember what they're called. But this uh, structure I'm looking for, it's eluding me quite bad. And I'm getting rather frustrated about it. I cannot seem to find it. And according to the map, I've still got miles to search. So. Oh, I believe I can see the wife and kids deciding to catch up now. Uh, you better decide to be in a better mood than you left, because otherwise you can fuck off again. Here you can see, I'll do you a quick panoramic. All this opening is all concrete. And there's again another one of them. Uh, I'll call it a plane park, but uh, I know that's wrong. 
but I've just spied something over my shoulder. Can you just see it there? So let's go and have a look at that. Hopefully before the wife and kids catch up and ruin it for me. Some sort of small type shed type bunker. I believe it's bunker. The same as the ones that are in the woods at Birchwood. Uh, again, if you haven't seen the RF, it's gone in for a video. Go and have a look. But I believe this is exactly the same as the ones back home. Which is quite cool. Because this one doesn't seem to have been destroyed by kids. Yeah, and filled with piss. Let's go and take a look inside. See if there's anything interesting inside. I doubt it. No, just a standard old bunker. I'm guessing this is just a little personnel bunker. Uh, I don't know. I say, I don't know. If anybody knows exactly what is this is, please leave a comment in the comment section. Let's know. So let's say I've found these before at Birchwood as well. We always called them bunkers as kids, so I'm assuming that's what it is. Random, unusual, perfectly round chunk of concrete that's not fixed to the ground. What the fuck's that for? Well. The wife and kids will be guide. Lucky, lucky what I found. Now this is definitely a bunker. As it has a submerged entrance. It's covered in earth. And it's pretty thick walls on it. This is like a blast wall on the front. I haven't even poked my head around here. So, let's see. Oh, steps down to it still there. That is sweet. What is down here? Wow, it's a shelter, and it is relatively intact. Let's walk through. Wow, this is ace. Well, I think kids, I bet you wish you hadn't been twice now and some top of the arm. It looks like this end probably was blocked off at some point, and somebody's come and destroyed it to gain entrance. Which is wrong, obviously, but oh bollocks! In this instance, I'm quite glad they did, so then I could uh, explore it. Now the wife and kids were about somewhere. I've seen them; they were tracking me from behind, but I seem to have lost them. Oh, they've lost me. I'm sure they would actually like to see this, so I might phone her and get her to get her ass over here and have a look. The kids are looking. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I was supposed to skate, it didn't work. Where's your brother? Um, I was a little more mad shy eyes. Come and have a look at this. Yeah, that's one. Be doing. careful down the steps. Yeah. Uh, the front face camera is quite a lot brighter. <laughs> Dad, can I use the torch that's in your pocket? I haven't got my torch on me, it's in your mum's bag. Oh. Just mind you don't trip over any of this stuff. Yeah, rock. It's a uh, brick and stuff. And I'm, I'm going to pretend that I don't know what you want. Oh, she's going to go play a trick on them now. <laughs> but, like, Bloody see. Nora. Look, literally, in the wilderness. Yeah. I just found this animal track. It's not in a path. This is how the lengths we're going to to discover things for you to watch on your YouTube. So, all you subscribers out there, I hope you appreciate it. To any of you that ain't subscribers, why ain't you subscribing? Get 100 subscribers and I'll do something crazy. Uh, burnout, uh, chili chip challenge, um, I don't know, something. I'll think of something. Or you can think of something, put your suggestions in the comments. But yeah, right now, we are trying to find our way back to something we can recognize as a path. So uh, we'll bring you back. 
when we do. Oh, well, I guess that's that then. That's the end of the RAF uh, Woodall Spa Part 2. I didn't find what it was I was looking for, which is actually fucking gutting. We won't bother asking the wife and kids whether they enjoyed themselves, because all they did was moan their asses off all the way around. So, until next time, I guess we'll see you later. Cheers.